confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. All right, here we go. 3 19. Time running out here on the play clock. He'll look to throw. Going for the deep ball. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. This offense so far on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. And on now is the punter. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? They needed some breathing room. He gave it to them. 11 yards and a first down. Partner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they were backed up against their own goal line, but when they stack the defensive line like that, if you find any type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. And I give this time to the tailback. He stiff arms him. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. While other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Come on, let's go. Nine, nine, nine. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. His throw incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Back to throw now on second and ten. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. 
Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your crew? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. And when I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball? not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win. Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. <laughs> A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Play clock winding down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, he was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. He'll drop to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Now a handoff here to his running back. He will push his way down to about the 14. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. One quarter remains here in Week 16. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to strike the fourth. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. 
The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Here we go now. They'll need to get the play off quickly. And to give this time to the tailback. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And the play clock's running down on third down. That's Hale, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And the kick for the 41-year-old is up and good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a big one there is that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 15 yards through the air and a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. <laughs> not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Fresh set of downs here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They look to throw now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The offense on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be a tough third and 18. Looking to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. 
And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They needed 18 yards, and that's exactly what they got. And by the nose of the football, it's a first. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So the drive there took six plays. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. the play fake he'll look to throw he's gonna fire one deep over the middle and he almost had it defensively could have been a game changer there in this second half instead it's third down I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there you've got a lead you've got to protect it and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy especially in a spot like this fourth quarter as you said trying to cling to that advantage yeah that one probably should have been picked huh Set up a throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Green, 39. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? Look how 
options do you have here? And what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. And a big 32-yard play on third. Time running out here on the play clock. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. a man on the crossing route. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Play clock winding down. Going to give this time to the tailback. Try to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. He lost two there. And it's third down. He already has two sacks to his credit. Now another tackle for loss. And you know how you can always identify who was supposed to block him? They're the other ones helping up the person who just got knocked to the ground with the ball, right? Whether it's a running play or a pass play, they've got to figure out a way to slow him down. Maybe you chip him with a second guy. Maybe you just out and out double him. Maybe you make sure you take the ball and throw it as far away from him as possible because right now he is wrecking things for them. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And he nearly broke that for more. But as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy. Four about in a game. Yeah, about the four in a game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So another big shot dodged there defensively. Now just one point completion away from salting away this victory. And I know this feeling. They're almost giddy, but they have to stay focused and locked in. They can make one big mistake and throw it all away.
So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. to throw. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And here now the offense heading back out there. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. And now back out comes the offense. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences, and this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. They'll look to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him six on the play, and that's going to make it second and 14. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. 
And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there at 20 yards. The clock continues to move. And we'll spike it here with 13 seconds showing on the clock. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try to up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. They're able to hold them to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Well, they certainly didn't get what they wanted on that play. That means it's a big-time decision on what you call on fourth down. Absolutely, because a field goal here doesn't do them much good. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, or five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So for the home team here, they continue to rack up the victories as this one moves them to 13-2 on the year. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for London, their playoff hopes take a big hit as they fall to 8-7. And, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say cheerio from London.